everyone, QB King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a full review video on the latest Android operating system update, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. This is an update from 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, I'm just going to be going over many of the different uh, features, many of the new things, pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, this is my Galaxy Nexus. I'm going to go ahead and power it on so you guys can check out the brand new boot animation. And there it is. So it's a very subtle boot animation, just that small icon. Got those different colors glowing. Kind of reminds me of the Gingerbread Nexus S boot animation, just obviously a little smaller. So it reminds me of it. Um, I personally do like this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of extravagant boot animations, but um, I like that subtle boot animation. So anyways, go ahead and boot up. Right away you are greeted with a brand new lock screen, actually. So uh, go ahead and tap on the icon and you will see that uh, you got kind of a different kind of animation going on here. You also have another shortcut and you will see Google right up here. Uh, I'll get to that in a sec. It's called Google Now. Um, but anyways, uh, you got your camera application shortcut along with unlock. So there's your new uh, lock screen as well. So updated, obviously not very much different from ice cream sandwich. But here we go. We also have a new notification uh, bar, which is kind of called the notification center. It's very cool. Uh, so we pull it down and right away you will see it is uh, completely revamped and it looks completely different. Um, up at the top here, you will see that uh, I have a bunch of different notifications going on. Obviously, uh, 100 new messages. I'm a little behind on my emails, actually, of 102. But uh, anyways, um, I've got a, an alarm here. Um, I had a calendar event for work. You'll see, it, basically, within the new notification bar, you can do things. Um, you can take actions while uh, you have notifications. So as, I can, as you can tell, you can snooze. Um, this work notification right away right within the notification bar if let's say you have a missed call you can call back directly from the notification uh, drop down bar as well so that's something else that's nice of course you can still swipe uh, swipe them away um, if you don't want to see them or tap this icon up here you also see it when there's space um, your uh, emails will expand and it will kind of give you a quick preview of them as you can tell I have a little too many so um, but other than that though you, you can really tell that they're they're doing a good job of getting these notifications down uh, this button right there clears away your notifications of course you have your settings button you have the time a very uh, kind of big time right there which I love um, and along with uh, the date as well of course this is this time is wrong it's, it's probably one in the morning right now but uh, overall obviously a different color scheme as well to this notification bar um, you have uh, another kind of neat thing is when you tap on the, the bar at the bottom, it lights up that ice cream sandwich blue. Another very awesome thing about this notification bar is actually when you pull it down, uh, you will see that the screen gets darker as you pull it down further. So you will see how uh, it, uh, it starts to dim as you bring it down further and uh, lightens back up as you bring it back up. So just a kind of neat uh, animation there that Google has implemented. I do like that a lot. Of course, you can go straight into those settings. Uh, when we go into settings, I scroll down. Uh, you'll see the settings menu is pretty much just about the same. Go to About Phone and under About Phone, Android version right there, 4.1. Uh, jelly bean of course so uh, of course Google includes uh, their awesome Easter egg quickly tap on the Android version and there you go Android 4.1 jelly bean got uh, a nice jelly bean smiling at you press and hold on them and you got some floating jelly beans there and there you have it so there's a, a nice little uh, hidden hidden feature within jelly bean of course it, obviously it was a little different on ice cream sandwich uh, but other than that, though, uh, other things I do want to show is actually something that they call, I believe it's Project Butter. And what it is basically is to, the goal is to make it so, pretty much enhance on Ice Cream Sandwich and make everything as smooth as possible and seem as, sm as smooth as possible. And I think they've done a great job. Uh, when I do things, just go be um, between uh, apps app panels and widget panels and such it feels smoother than ice cream sandwich even going between applications you'll see it's got a different opening application when i open that messaging application it kind of comes up from where i open it uh, which is which is pretty neat that's the same with the dialer as well or obviously any other application that i do launch whether it be the browser i load up the browser and it's obviously going to load on up i'm on wi-fi right now of course um 
but yeah, that's uh, that's really nice. Uh, if you guys notice when I went in those settings, um, if I go into some kind of setting, um, I'm not exactly sure which one I want to go into. But if I go into more, you'll see it's got those little different animations uh, when you when you go in through them. Obviously, even about phone, anything like that, it'll it'll just kind of it fades away and it makes it feel very smooth and refined. And uh, Google did a great job in improving upon that. Um, another thing that uh, they kind of improved upon is, let's say I want to add some applications to my home screen. Um, obviously, it's it's pretty much all the same. You can drag and drop apps on one another, create a folder, nothing, uh, nothing different about that. Uh, but let's say I've got apps right here, and I want to grab a widget and put it on my home screen, such as my bookmarks widget. Uh, what it does is basically, uh, when you try and put it in a certain spot where there's applications, what it's going to do is re uh, it's going to move um, the icons that are already there and uh, resize your uh, widget to the appropriate size so it will actually fit so of course you can move them around wherever you would like so that's kind of really neat actually how it uh, does it automatically it just flips them around uh, lets you know you can't resize it if you uh, want it to but yeah that's uh, that's another neat feature how um, even if it doesn't fit it will move the applications and your widgets to make it fit if there's space on the home screen so there's another nice neat feature it kind of rearranges your applications and such another new thing is you press and hold on that home uh, on your home screen you got gallery live wallpapers and wallpapers just a little different uh, look there you go to wallpapers you got all your um, all your jelly bean wallpapers of course so you can set a wallpaper and there you have it got one of my favorite jelly bean wallpapers uh, if you do want to get those on your device I have a video on how to I will uh, link to it in the description of the video with a download and such but other than that though uh, in your app drawer I don't know if you guys notice your widgets are a little different the panels here they they're just panels as opposed to just the icons so it's a little bit different uh, within there if you guys can notice it's very smooth going through these uh, I don't know, obviously, if you can notice or not, but uh, very, very quick. It seems very smooth. Uh, it looks great. Uh, obviously, not too many visual enhancements whatsoever, but uh, you definitely have some speed enhancements. Everything seems very smooth. Opening, closing applications. Uh, your recent running apps is, seems to be fast. Let's go ahead and open up some other applications so I can get that going on. Um, Camera applications actually new as well. I will get to that in just a second. Uh, but again, your recent running apps is is it's very smooth. Obviously, swipe away. Um, nothing new there within that. All right, so let's get into that new camera application. So load it on up, and of course, no, there will be zero shutter lag when taking pictures with your Galaxy Nexus. Let me grab a pen so I can take some pictures of it. Uh, but anyways, um, if I want to take a picture of this pen, of course, all I have to do is press this button takes it and you'll see it's got a little different animation it's uh it's called i believe film strip um it's just got a little different animation when you take a picture it it, it swipes away which is very neat i can take them in obviously in order and it just keeps taking them with that zero shutter lag it focuses takes it and swipes it away i can go directly into that gallery you'll see it it kind of opened up that gallery if i hit back it goes straight back into that camera application um very seamlessly which is obviously new so it, it does a very good job at that within your gallery um let me go ahead and go into the gallery application itself so let me go ahead and go into my app drawer go into gallery uh, going to camera so I have a bunch of different pictures here I just took laptop uh, that pen so if I go into it obviously you can swipe through like normal or you can pinch in and you've got uh, I believe that film strip style so you can look through all of your different pictures go through and if you don't want one let's say you're going through and you're like ah oh, that one doesn't look too good let's swipe up and it gets deleted just like that so swipe them all up the ones you don't want uh, they get deleted you can undo it if you accidentally delete one so that's just that new film strip feature you can tap on it to go back in zoom in obviously camera looking pretty good there uh, so that's a, a nice new feature about the gallery actually uh, camera as well so nice that they updated it it seems like the quality of the picture in low lighting is a little bit better as well within this application all right, and another cool thing is the uh, Google Now, actually. So tap on this Google search bar, and it will take you to Google Now. 
Um, what it uh, what it is is basically I, I did some random searches and such, but uh, what it can do is it shows these cards here. You'll see I had a, a calendar event called work at 6:05 a.m. So that shows up. Um, it shows in your area your your home team. So White Sox won 12 to five. Heck yeah! Um, it shows uh, my area and you've got your weather as well. So looking forward to that 100 degree day today actually um, but you can show more cards you can tap on it and uh, obviously it's going to show more let you know uh, who the White Sox play um, you can show sample cards as well you have menu with settings refresh settings and such I'm not going to really get into those uh, of course I can say Google Google how long does it take to run a mile And then it does a Google search for you. So there you have it. Um, it, it just loads on up with that Google search. Um, you can uh, change it to images, places. Uh, so that's a very quick way to do a Google search there with your voice, of course. Or you can type it. You'll see with this uh, with this new keyboard. You'll see that it's got a, a drop down arrow right here, as opposed to the back arrow still. So it lets you know that when you press that arrow, it's just going to drop down the keyboard. It's not going to take you back. Uh, which is pretty nice. You can press and hold, actually there's some quick uh, quick ways to get to it. Press and hold on that home screen um, button and it pops up. You'll see you can go straight to it and it takes you to that uh, basically your your Google Now application letting you know all your different things. It actually will let you know uh, uh, navigation things as well. I believe if your GPS is on it'll, uh, it'll basically let you know how long it's going to take to get to certain cities, what traffic looks like on your way to work all that good stuff so that's very cool again it has it on the lock screen pop into that lock screen let me load it on up go up and it takes you to google now again uh, again it recognizes you saying the word google i believe you, you kind of have to be quiet before and then say google or you can just tap here type it in or you can tap on this icon and just say it so there you have it there so very cool um, animations are great uh, I do like this Google now, so we will we will see where they go with it. Uh, I, I, they could definitely do a lot of great things, especially because they got that Google search engine. Of course, so much to look through. Other than that, though, they do have a new keyboard, actually. So let's go into that messaging application and compose a new message and start typing a message. So when I want to type a message, um, I will see it say, hey there. So when I say hey and press space, you'll see it as opposed to... Um, the different punctuation that they usually have up in this bar there's a word prediction so you'll see it says hey there so if I press space or tap on it um, it's actually gonna replace obviously it'll, hey there is the first time to the first time to the first so uh, it's got a word prediction system going on that's supposed to be fantastic so you're definitely gonna want to check that out I myself actually prefer to have the punctuation there. So what I, I, there should be a way that you can uh, go into settings and uh, find a way. So let's go to language and input and go to the settings of the keyboard and then go down to advanced. And you'll see next word prediction. You can turn that off if you don't like it. So again, that's just a new feature with the keyboard. And again, you can turn it off so I can say, let's say, hey, space. You'll see I put a space and the punctuation shows up again. So don't worry, you can turn off that word prediction. If you're not a fan of word prediction like myself, I do prefer to have these punctuation marks. So don't be alarmed if... Uh, you, you're like, oh, I don't want that word prediction. So anyways, um, it has new language support, I added language support. I believe it has emoji support. Um, for, I know actually a few people mentioned how Android doesn't have that and they want it. So I, it does have it now. Uh, Android Beam with NFC has been uh, updated. Basically, you can share videos as well via NFC, which is great. Uh, you have offline voice typing, so if I normally, you had to have a certain data connection, whether it be Wi-Fi, 4G, 3G, to do uh, your voice typing. So if I wanted to type a message with my voice, I tap on this. Hey there, how are you doing today? Want to hang out later? So there you go. And uh, obviously, I was type talking very quickly. Uh, other than that, though, you'll, you'll see it worked. Obviously, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi anymore. just disconnected from it. But you got that offline voice typing. And another amazing thing that I really like um, is the smart app 
updates, new feature uh, within the Play Store. So what it is is basically, obviously many of you guys know, you get app updates all the time. You got notifications saying, oh, you got a new app update, come update it, come update it, yada, yada, yada. And what you have to do is actually sit and wait for it to completely download the whole new application itself. But now with this uh, new smart app updates, what it's gonna do is actually only update the parts of the application that you need. So it'll be a smaller download, it'll be quicker, uh, installation will be quicker as well. So it's only going to update the parts you need as opposed to downloading the entire application itself, which is obviously uh, really great. Uh, it'll make things better, uh, less data used. It will just make your life easier. So uh, that's about it, though. That's really all I wanted to cover. That's just about everything new with the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update. Uh, very amazing. Can't wait for it to get rolled out officially to many different devices. This is my Sprint Galaxy Nexus. I will be doing videos on how to install it on different devices and such, so definitely be sure to subscribe to me. Um, of course, you'll probably have to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod installed unless you get the official over-the-air update, but definitely be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.